I'm Stephanie Yen, and I'm the program director for the Diagnostic Radiology Program at Dartmouth-Hitchcock. You're going to get great training anywhere that you go. Um, there are a lot of excellent programs out there in the nation. I think our program is extra special because of the camaraderie and the collegiality that our program really exudes. Um, particularly when you come um, and become part of our program, we're really a big family. The residents get along with one another, the residents and the faculty get along with one another, and the faculty the faculty also get along. Um, I think it's that really sort of collegial atmosphere that we really promote here really sets us apart from other programs. I think our fourth year elective program that we have for our diagnostic radiology residents is, is somewhat unique. You can definitely do a mini fellowship in the clinical realm or do some concentration electives, particularly with the clinical bent spending some time on the clinical services, not just in radiology, but also say with surgery, oncology, pathology. But we also offer non-clinical electives in both education, um, being mentored by Dr. Petra Lewis, who's our Vice Chair of Education, Global Health, which is, you'll hear more about from Dr. Rooney, a two-week elective currently in Tanzania. Um, we also have an IT elective, and we have a business leadership elective as well that we offer. We're also open to any elective that you may actually think of on your own to add to the to our choices already as well. So anything that you think of that would you think would be worthwhile for you as a fourth year as well, we, we're totally open to that idea. So we really support resident scholarly activity here. I mean, really, really encourage it. And one of the perks of it is that if you get an abstract accepted to present at a national meeting, we will pay for you to go. And that payment includes airfare, hotel, and also food. We send our residents um, to spend time uh, rotating at the White River Junction VA, both through their second, third, and fourth years. Um, their pediatric training is done in conjunction with the experience they ha have here at Dartmouth-Hitchcock, but they also spend three months at Boston Children's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts, um, learning, seeing the sort of more esoteric and advanced cases that would be missed here. Um, and then finally, we also send our third-year residents for a four-week um, experience at ARIP in Washington, D.C. Boston Children's and ARIP are covered by the department in terms of finances. At Boston Children's, we already have an apartment that we um, that's right attached to BCH. It's right close there and it's used by all of our residents. Um, and then at ARIP, um, we definitely cover both accommodations and travel expenses to get you down there and back. We also pay uh, the ABR dues, annual dues for each resident throughout their four years of residency. We have an annual book fund that our residents have $500 per year um, that they can use, and we encourage them to use all of it to the very end. All of our residents attend a um, core review course during their third year, either virtual or in person, and we as a department cover that that includes the course fee itself, uh, the accommodations, and also the uh, travel expenses to get down there as well. We actually have a very robust physics course uh, here. It's predominantly done online by Dr. Bill Sensakovich, um, and it starts early. Residents start exposure to physics during their first year for three months, and also during their second and third year. So by the time they get to the core exam, they're very well prepared. I'm really most proud of our residents. They actually get their fellowship choice. It's usually their top choice uh, in whatever subspecialty they choose. Our residents, once they finish fellowship, always report back to us that they feel like the training that they've received at Dartmouth-Hitchcock has really set them well. Whether they do private practice or whether they do um, academics, it's really made a difference in terms of how they've approached their, their career, actually. I have to say, I'm partial, I'd go down to the resident aisle first, for sure, for sure.